Welcome to the DEXIS OP3D LX training video for acquiring optimum 2D panoramic images. This video will cover patient positioning, scan size selections, and acquiring an image. Start by opening your dental imaging software. Select the patient for examination and select the device to establish a connection. The device graphical user interface opens on the workstation when the connection to the device has been established. Select the panoramic modality. With the panoramic modality selected, you can select the imaging program. Press the imaging program icons to change the active imaging program. There are four imaging modalities that can be selected from this screen. Standard panoramic, pediatric panoramic, bite wing, TMJ. The standard panoramic imaging program provides a general view of dental and facial anatomy typically seen for adolescents and adults. The pediatric panoramic imaging program is normally used for pediatric patients. It uses less radiation dose and a smaller imaging area than a standard panoramic image. Adult patients with an exceptionally narrow jaw can also be imaged with this program. In addition, the bite wing program provides a view of the patient's premolar molar dentition and the TMJ lateral program provides a lateral view of the patient's left and right temporomandibular joints. The dental chart displays the segments of the dentition to be acquired by the selected imaging program. You can also manually select which segments of the dentition are imaged. A sample image produced by the selected imaging program is displayed at the bottom of the window. The patient size indicates the currently selected patient size. Press the patient size selection icon to open a list of patient sizes, small, medium and large. Select the patient size icon to activate it. Selecting a patient size auto-adjusts the KV and MA exposure values to preset levels. Manually adjusting KV and MA according to the patient size and skull anatomy is also an option and is accomplished by selecting the minus and plus icons. Test mode disables device radiation production. Test mode can be used to demonstrate the device movements. You can also use the unit control panel to enable and disable test mode. Now that the patient size and exposure settings are selected, the device status indicator message bar displays the device status with a color-coded indicator. A gray indicator means the device is not ready and will be accompanied by a prompt indicating steps for resolution. A green indicator lets you know the device is ready for imaging. There are two chin rest configurations that can be used when acquiring a 2D panoramic image. Standard panoramic and pediatric panoramic. Both require the bite block and chin rest, except for edentulous patients that require the use of the lip support and chin rest. Pre-configure the chin rest and place it into the system. Place disposable covers on the bite support or lip support. Open the patient head support, turning the knob on the head support counterclockwise. Prepare the patient for the procedure by asking the patient to remove all metal objects, including earrings, necklaces, glasses, hair pins, and all removable appliances from above their shoulders. Properly place a protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with local regulations. Have the patient stand in front of the unit. Instruct the patient to stand as straight and tall as possible. With the patient standing outside of the unit, raise or lower as needed so the patient's chin is level with the chin rest. To slowly raise or lower the unit, press up from the underside of the controller or down from the top of the controller. For faster movement pinch both sides of the controller while pressing up or down. Have the patient step forward asking them to grasp the patient handles, place their chin onto the chin rest and bite on the bite block so that both their upper and lower anterior teeth are in the bite block's grooves. Tell the patient to close their eyes, turn on the patient positioning lights by pressing the positioning light button on the control panel. Adjust the device's height and adjust the patient's head position using the patient positioning lights as guides. The patient's Frankfurt plane should be close to parallel with the Frankfurt horizontal light. Align the patient so that the root tips of the lower and upper incisors are vertically aligned and parallel to the tilt light. Ensure the patient's head position is aligned with the mid-sagittal positioning light. The head should not be turned or tilted. Compensate for misalignments by manually moving the patient's head into the proper position or by adjusting the unit height. 
You can open the mirror and use it to assist in positioning the patient. Close the mirror before you start acquiring an image. Close the head support by rotating the knob clockwise. Adjust the forehead support so it is resting against the patient's forehead. Reconfirm proper patient alignment using the positioning lights. Ask the patient to maintain their grasp on the patient handles and take one step forward to straighten the spinal column. The patient is now leaning slightly backwards and should remain in this position during image acquisition. Ask the patient to swallow, close their lips around the bite block and press their tongue against the palate if possible breathe through their nose and remain still for the duration of the exposure. Inform the patient the machine will rotate around their head and an audible sound will occur. Protect yourself from radiation in accordance with local safety guidelines and regulations while maintaining visual contact with the patient during exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button until the process is complete. The panoramic image will appear on the acquisition workstation for review. You can zoom, adjust brightness and contrast or press the OK button to confirm image acquisition. Release the temple supports and guide the patient out of the DEXIS OP3DLX. Remove all disposable covers, decontaminate the device and the patient positioning accessories. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit dexas.com.